how do you tell someone that they're creating their own suffering? You know, how mm-hmm. do you tell someone? Because you see your friends and, and those of you who are coaches or, or teachers, you, you you understand a lot of these concepts and you, you think, well, how do I tell my best friend or my mother or my sister this is your suffering, like you're creating it yourself because a lot of people would be like, would be resistant to that. Absolutely. Well, uh, it is a process, so you have to remember you start where they're at. Yeah. You're not going to convince them by simply stating it, but you have to you have to uh, kind of enter their world and help them with the particular situation that they're in. What is this trigger about? What is this problem about? Why is it bothering? Why is it such an issue? And then you help them kind of grasp that the nature of that problem, how it's connected to their own mind, their own perception of things. That's the best way because it leads them to their own understanding of the nature of suffering and that's what you want you want them to have their direct experience of it and just like any just like gardening you can plant the seed in a fertile ground or you can plant the seed in dry earth and if they have that dry hard earth where they're not really ready to hear it yet you could still plant the seed but you'll notice that some people are are more ripe and more um, fertile for this idea and ready to be free and other people want to keep suffering so it's like they hang on to it as a way to um, hang on to their identity and the ego has a natural defense mechanism against uh, self-actualization because it knows once you 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 let go of the ego it, it kind of loses its power it loses itself and uh, you become something else and that's uh, scary to the ego so it has that natural mechanism so it's not that you're not doing it right or you're not sharing it right or and it can be frustrating but just trust and you hold that person in the image of becoming and uh and again you'll tell someone this and it'll just change their world and other people you'll tell and it's like a seed floating on the top of hard earth it needs some more rain it needs some more mud uh it needs some more nutrients it needs to sink down a little deeper for them to finally get it but it is, um, it's a beautiful process. You know, I think one of the greatest uh, ways for people to realize they're not the ego is through the shadow work that we do in our coach training. Really, really powerful. Because in 15 minutes, you ask people questions that will, bl- that will basically break apart their arguments uh, in a, where they're basically giving the answers. And they, it's like a self uh, awakening that the person goes through when that happens they 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 actually realize it themselves so with this kind of work where you're really helping someone let go of the ego it's all about them they have to get it comes from inside like there's a part of them that's already aware but so you can't like kind of p- pile on the information and expect them to just realize it they, it has to come from within themselves and asking that inquiry asking those questions yeah and i think the buddha would say if you really want to help people you have to free your mind first Mm. you always have to work with Mm. your own mind Mm. Uh, we cannot really help the world if we're just one more angry person out there or one more frustrated person or or scared we're frustrated with a frustrated person (laughs) yes we have to we have to be awake Mm. we have to awaken ourselves once you're awake, then you can really help others. Mm-hmm. Then, the, then the world will benefit from your human life, your human experience. 